What's good YouTube? It's your man Rage King back with another one. Yes, another upload to the channel. And before we get started, ask if you please go down there and hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that share button, and hit that bell for notifications if you're new. Welcome to Rumble Rage TV. This is how we do Rage and Rebels. Crown up. And if you're new to the crew, welcome to the Rage and Rebel Revolution. Now let's vibe and y'all in this video. I'm gonna be discussing why no demo for NBA 2K22 spells the beginning of the end for the franchise. Let's speak on it. Now, quick disclaimer. I know a lot of people, oh, here we go, Rage King, yet again with another negative video. Shut the fuck up because you don't even know me, okay? I am hard on 2K because I love 2K. Think of it like the, the, the love of a father. It's for those that had their fathers growing up. Remember how your dad was always hard, hard on you? It always seemed like he was never good enough. Everything, nothing you ever did was ever good enough. And then you got older and realized that, damn, this is why he was so hard on me. This is exactly my. This is exactly how I feel about 2K, okay? If I wasn't hard on you, that means I don't care, okay? And I'm hard on you because y'all used to be so good, and yet somehow, some way, y'all have allowed yourself to become so shit, all right, in a short amount of time. All right. So with that being said, before I even get into the video, I want this game to be good. I want 2K21 to, I want 2K, not 2K21, but I want NBA 2K to be the Titan that it's always been both in game, both gameplay wise and, and, and a fun, a aspect of fun. You understand what I'm saying? I want this game to thrive. I want the company to thrive. You understand what I'm saying? But I, what I do not want is the company to thrive while selling a piece of shit product. All right. So now having said all that, let's get into the excerpt right here. According to NBA 2K22 leaks and intel, go follow them on Twitter, y'all. They don't they don't get enough credit, man. Uh, they're, the re they're the basis for a lot of the videos I've done in the past. Uh, so I'm gonna give them a shout out now. NBA 2K22 leaks and intel, thank y'all. Um, I think y'all get y'all don't get enough credit. Y'all don't get uh, all the respect you deserve. So allow me to pay it forward and give y'all a shout out now. NBA 2K22 leaks and intel. And the following tweet reads. Will there be a demo version of NBA 2K22 this year? Answer no. Although the demo version is a regular is a regular content released by NBA 2K, we decided not to release the demo version this year, but instead focus on creating fully functional games of this generation and previous generations. Now, I know people will read this and be like, "Oh, well, you know, that's that's legitimate." That's and and to be honest with you, Rage King, can, I can honestly see that. Here's my thing. Here's why I'm thinking that it's more on the lines of they're going to give us more of a copy and paste game more than a new one. OK, here's why I think that one. We have yet to hear anything about NBA Live. Still have yet to hear anything about NBA Live. You understand what I'm saying? Need I remind y'all about the piece of shit showing that Take Two Interactive had at E3. You understand what I'm saying? Didn't get any gameplay there. And seeing how the track record with 2K is, oh, we, oh, if it's messed up, oh, we'll fix it, we'll fix it, we'll fix it. And it never gets fixed. If anything, a lot of the shit that needed to get fixed gets worse. I'm sorry, 2K. Y'all brought this on yourself. I don't trust that that is the reason why we're not getting a demo. I don't trust that y'all aren't giving us a demo because y'all focusing on making the game as great as possible. What was the point of y'all hiring 100 more devs? If the game was still not going to be ready to show gameplay when it's time to be shown gameplay. This game drops September 10th. All right. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but it is July 15th. That is less than two months away. And yet all we got was that fake ass Fortnite trailer disguised as an NBA 2K22 trailer with yet again, no gameplay. So I ask again, 2K. Why should I? Why should we trust you? Why should Rage King and the Raging Rebels and any anybody that is a fan of NBA 2K? Why should we trust y'all about anything? Most of all, why should we trust y'all that the reason why we didn't get a demo is because y'all trying to focus on making the game better? When has making the game better ever been your concern? It hasn't been. You can sit there and blame all oh, the pandemic and all that. What was the excuse for NBA 2K20 when it first dropped? What was the excuse for NBA 2K21 when people were begging for a damn update, begging for a patch, and that patch only came because Ronnie 2K and Mike Wayne were getting cursed out literally by everyone that had a platform, myself included. You see what I'm saying? So 2K, I'm sorry, but on this, I got to call bullshit. Rage King calls bullshit. I don't want to be the person to do this, but somebody got to do it, so allow it to be me. I do not buy that this is the reason why we are not getting a demo. We are not getting a demo 
because yet again, you've hired a hundred more people and yet you've hired a hundred more motherfuckers that don't know what they're doing. It's going to be the same copy and paste BS. It wouldn't surprise me at all if online features like the park, the 2K beach or the exact same thing. It's going to be the same copy and paste BS. It's going to be the same BS over and over and over. It's going to be the same ass my career with a with a with a with a uh, unskippable story that nobody cares about. All right. It's going to be a my career where you play with your where you play with your my player and the and the CPU you're playing against makes absolutely no logical decisions at all. It's going to be the same exploit driven curry sliding Zen using speed glitch needing ass bitches thinking they good. Ruining the game playing experience for everybody else because y'all simply do not know basketball. Answer me this too, 2 k before I end the video. How many of those new 100 devs that y'all just hired, hook bang, how many of them actually know basketball? Because you can hire 100 people to do any job in the world, but if not one of them knows what the job is or how to do it, you have hired 100 people for absolutely nothing. Hiring a hundred people just for this game still not to be finished. When y'all knew damn well that y'all was going to want an annual release. Which is why I said in earlier videos, y'all need to cut this annual release bullshit because y'all cannot get it right. Y'all can't get it right, man. Y'all can't. I Look, I, I, I take no pleasure in saying this. But y'all are giving me all the ammo for me, other content creators, and the fans of this game to break the metaphorical foot off in your ass. You caused this. Don't blame this. Don't blame that. 2K, you caused this. And then somehow, someway, people like me that call you out on your BS, somehow, someway, we are the bad guys. How am I the bad guy when you're the one stealing from people? I ain't stole from nobody. Y'all did. You're the one trying to raid people's pockets for a broken, no, not fun, bullshit product. And that's just what it is. NBA 2K is a bullshit product. We're not getting a demo because it is a bullshit product. And y'all know it. And when this game releases broken, buggy, and full of bullshit again, Rage King will sit right here and say, I told you so. September 10th, I'm calling it now. September 10th will be M will be NBA 2K's most broken release to date. Book it. But that's just my opinion, man. Y'all let me know down in the comment section what y'all think, man. Do y'all think I'm wrong? Do y'all think I'm right? As long as you're respectful and logical, we can have a conversation. But that's going to be the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed. It's been a pleasure making it for you. My name is Rage King. I am out and I'll be back later on with more videos, more commentary, and more good content. Now, hashtag that enough. So see y'all later.